All right, so we're gonna install our wastegate. This is a Precision Turbo 46 millimeter wastegate, but you can really, pick, it works the same way for all of them. Before you install it in the car, however, you have to pick what you want your spring rate to be, which is gonna control how much boost your car runs. In my case, I'm gonna be running a boost control solenoid, which means that the spring rate that's inside the wastegate doesn't dictate exactly how much boost you can run. What you do need to know, however, is that whatever your spring rate is inside of the wastegate is the lowest, it's the minimum amount of boost you can run. So if you put a, say, a six pound spring in, you can only run a minimum of six pounds. However, you can always run more than that if you have a boost controller. Uh, or a boost control solenoid. Now you may ask why not just put the lowest spring rate in say like a two PSI spring uh, and then have your boost controller allow you to turn up the boost to 30 or 40 PSI. Uh, why can't you do that? Essentially you're going to be putting so much use onto your boost controller that it'll it'll wear out more quickly. So the common rule of thumb is that you want your spring rate in your wastegate if you're running a boost controller to be half of the target uh, boost that you want to run. So say you want to run 30 pounds of boost, you're going to want to use about a 15 pound spring in the wastegate, which is actually what we're going for today. If you look at the instructions for the wastegate, it gives you a nice little chart that tells you that if you want to run, say, 15 PSI, you're going to need to use the red and the green spring, which we have right here. It came in the, came in the box. To install the springs, all you need to do is take all of the Allen head keys or Allen head bolts around the housing here off. So this is the diaphragm that works your wastegate. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our springs, if I can get them untangled, I'm just going to sit right there. The other's going to sit inside of that. And then you're going to put the top of your wastegate back on. So after much uh, trouble, I would say, we got the top on. It took two people, but I, it's the trials and tribulations that come along with higher boost levels. Anyway, you're probably wondering what this top port and bottom port are, uh, barbs, I should say. Um, essentially, this is how it works. If you're running a boost controller, you're going to route the boost controller and you're gonna have the hose coming off of that, go into the top barb fitting here, and you're going to have your boost source, usually there's a port on the compressor side of the turbo, that's gonna be running directly to this lower port here. If you're not running a boost controller and you just wanna run whatever the boost is that you've picked from your wastegate spring, all you're gonna do is run your uh, boost source hose directly to the bottom port and leave this vented to the atmosphere. Uh, so in our case, we're gonna have a hose going to this and a hose going to this, and that is that. But at this point, we can go and install this on the car. The way that this one works uh, is that we have a V-band clamp. So this little fitting goes into the bottom here, just like that little V-band action right onto the manifold. 